Okay, guys, if you watched my previous video, then you know that I said I was going to do a haul on the stuff that I purchased while walking, doing my walkthrough at the Dollar Tree. So I'm not going to um, prolong this. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, you might hear my daughter up there fussing at Harley. Yeah, the one that walked out of the house. Um, by Key Grown. Yeah, that dog. Yeah, she's up there fussing at him. So hopefully she won't get too loud. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and get started. Um, so first thing first. They have a lot of cute signs. I did get some Valentine's stuff, but I didn't get all Valentine's stuff. I did get um, some household stuff, too. But I'm going to start off. I'm not going to go in any order. I'm just going to pick up the bags and show you guys what's in each bag. Um, this is one of the signs that I got. Um, I know you guys, if you see my previous video, then you've seen that um, they also had this with the white background and the, I think it was the red red writing writing <laughs> sorry <laughs> my tongue gets twisted and then they have this one I think I'm gonna put this one in my entryway I thought this was cute it has the galvanized metal hearts that uh, I love the galvanized um, items uh, actually I packed up my galvanized houses with my Christmas stuff but I haven't put my Christmas stuff actually away it's like still sitting out I have to do that um, probably tomorrow if I don't do it today but um, I'm thinking that I'm going to keep that out those houses out because it's not really I mean it can be used throughout the whole year I think it's not just Christmas stuff I think I'm going to pull those out. I'm actually keeping my white houses out as well. This is a room that I am in the process of redoing. Um, I have to finish putting the wall, this wall, I have to finish putting the paper on the wall for this one. Um, but I will be keeping those houses out. Um, I had trees on the, on these Christmas trees, but I took those down. So. I'm going to be doing some more stuff in here. Um, I ha This is probably the run one room in my house where I have a lot of space to actually put wall decor on. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Um, and then I picked up this one. It says love every moment. I bought two of these. And then I got a pack of these um, treat sets. I'm not actually going to use them for treats. I'm going to put these in my, um, I probably, it, it's a pack of three. So I'll probably put one on uh, each one of my tier stands, my tier tray, and then put the other one on my coffee um, station. But what, I'm just going to stuff them. I'm not going to put any candy in them. I'm just going to stuff them and use them as decor. And they had these cute little flower oil. Yeah, flower. Flower. Um, pots. Uh, I guess there's a pot in this, but I'm not going to unwrap it to see. Um, I think it's supposed to be like the way it is. But I, I bought two of these for one for each tear tray. I thought those were cute. I wish they had the pink version of it. And then I have a couple of signs like this. This one that says, Bless Your Heart. I thought that was cute. And then they have this one that says, follow your heart. So I got these to go probably in my entryway. Oh no, I'll probably put these on my tier trays as well. Mm, which means I probably need to go back to get something for my entryway. And 
I bought two of these, the ones that says Happy Valentine's Day. I wasn't really feeling the one with the red truck because of, it looks like they just threw the letters on there to make the wording. Um, I can't even remember what it said, but I did put it in my, um, it's in my video, my previous video, if you want to see it, what it looked like. Um, yeah, I just like the one with the bicycle better. I, I love the red truck that they had on it. I just didn't like how they did the wording on the, the one for the red truck. So, I got two of these for my entryway. And then I got, this isn't necessarily Valentine's, but it does have the heart on it. I, it's like a little tray. I am going to paint this red and just sit it out somewhere in my house and put something on it. Um, but I do already have the red paint, so um, I'm going to paint this and... I might put some type of wording in here. I'm not sure. And they have these cute little pink hearts. Um, it's a set of five. They're, you get two of the smaller ones, two of these, and then one big one. Um, I'm going to find a, some type of DIY to do with these. Um, I probably should have got two packs, but they do have this in red as well. I'm thinking I might should have gotten two. I don't know. We'll see. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with those first. And then they had these cute little styrofoam hearts. They have these in red as well. Um, but I didn't get any red, but I'm starting to think that I should have only because I'm mainly using red down here in this room, um, upstairs, well, in my kitchen as well, but, um, pink, I'm going to do pink in my dining room area and my, um, den upstairs. So, um, I'll probably be back at the store to go get some red ones just to put more decor down here for Valentine's Day. I'm actually trying to buy stuff that is going to, I can easily transition into spring pretty much. So I don't have to do too much of taking down and putting up, taking down and putting up. I would rather just add on to what I already have because I mean, you can use hearts hearts is not just Valentine's to me so um, I'm just gonna be adding on to my stuff for spring of course I'll take the stuff that does say happy Valentine's Day down after February but other than that um, yeah I don't know how much Valentine's Day day items that I will get, but I will get a lot of pink stuff um, just that I can use in the springtime as well. So, um, they have the cutest Valentine's Day socks though. Oh my God. I wanted to just buy all socks, but I knew I was going in there for a purpose and that was to get stuff for my tear trays because they're looking um, a little blank right now. Um, before I start before fall I didn't even have tear trays I actually made those as projects and now I have to fill them up for everyday stuff so that's what I'm on the hunt for um but anyways these are the socks that I did pick up you know why because it has dogs on them and this one is the cutest I've always wanted a schnauzer schnauzer is that if that's how you pronounce it I can't but this is the cutest pair of socks. Oh my gosh. I am going to go buy me some more. I'll probably get my daughter some too. But I love Dollar Tree socks. They have the cutest stuff. I mean, my foot can barely fit in some of them because I don't wear a nine. I wear 
a bigger size than a nine. So, but I do squeeze them in there and they fit. I mean, you know, they pretty much do the job for me. So, okay. And that is all of my, I want to say that's all of my Dollar Tree items. I mean, not Dollar Tree items, just all of my Valentine's Day items. Okay. So now that, you know, they sell, um, planner stickers and I ran across some new ones. So I wanted to share, um, you get 300 stickers in each pack. Um, you can see some of the sayings on here. And this is the other one that I got. They have some more, but I just, cause, because I just recently bought a lot of stickers. Um, I didn't want to go overboard and I do have some other stickers that I have to find so um, of course I had to get my my Ajax and then they still have the big bottles so you can't beat this for a dollar um, I love the lemon I have the apple now they that was I guess that was a limited time um but um, I didn't see the apple. It smells good, but I ended up getting the orange and the, the lemon. And then I've hauled these before, but I had to get another one because I actually used those for my tree. And then my, it's, those are actually packed up. I can't get to those. So I actually bought this to do what it's for, and that's to dust. <laughs> And then they have the cutest little bitty picture frames. I These are wooden ones. Um, I got two of these. I'm going to DIY these. Um, and I'll, I'll do a, a video for them. Um, they actually have the bigger size clothes pins. Um, the little ones, they are not of good quality. Um, I don't know if it's um, heavy handed, but you touch them and they break so these look like they're better quality so I got these because um, I just needed them um, I'm gonna do probably do another DIY project for these for my crafting area and then they had this cute little frame I'm gonna DIY as well um, this is a it doesn't say the size on it uh, it's 3.25 inch um, if that means anything to you but it's really small compared to this one but I bought these to do DIYs for my tier trays um, there was actually another one another frame this little bitty frame so two by three so I'm assuming yeah it's probably the same size as this one but it's one that you just clip your little picture on um, I'm going to try to find something cute to put I'm actually going to paint this frame and then probably red, paint it red, <clears throat> or white, probably white, maybe white, yeah, I don't know, um, and put some little cute picture on the front of that, and put this also in either in my coffee stand or um, one of my tear trays. And I just bought another lighter. Um, I messed my other one up. It was only a dollar. I needed one, so I got it. And I needed some more gloves to clean with. Um, so I got those. And I love cleaning with these, um, fiber, 
what is it? these are not, not the fiber ones though but these cleaning cloths I love cleaning with these versus my kitchen towels and then I bought a couple of blanket storage bags I am um, going to be redoing my linen closets. I have two linen closets upstairs now. One is in my kids, uh, the bathroom upstairs, and then one, actually I have three. One is more of a coat closet, but, um, and then the other linen closet. But I am going to be transforming all three of my closets. I'm trying to utilize every inch in my home for storage or whatever. Um, I had a big closet, a really big closet downstairs um, across from my laundry area, but I turned that into my dog's room. Um, so that's why a, a lot of, I lost a lot of storage when I did that, but I, I needed a place to put my dogs. I didn't want to leave them out in the open um, only because Nobody in my family seems to like dogs other than me and my kids. So I have to put them up when people come over, which I hate doing that. Um, but hey, I have, I, but I created a cute little space for them. Um, they love their room. They only be in it, sleep in it anyways. But um, I'm going to end up showing that. Uh, I'm not finished. I want to put some pictures on the wall. Um, I, I need to put a light uh, in there some way because it gets dark when it's dark at night it, it's really dark in there I have a night light out in the hallway for them but yeah my dogs have a room and all three of them sleep in there so I also have two box turtles I don't know if I mentioned that to you but I do plan on bringing them downstairs not putting them in their room but putting bringing them down so that my animals will take over the area, that little walk area um, that nobody really seems to be at other than when they're doing laundry. Anyways, back to what I was doing. These are um, vacuum storage bags. I got these because we need to purge some stuff in our closet. I really probably should have got more stuff. And it's not even me. I'm not even the problem. It's my husband. He won't get rid of his stuff. And he don't even wear it. I'm like, dude, you got to do something. You got to do better. Mm, yeah, do better for 2020. So um, I'm hoping that these will help him do better. Um, we're going to, he's going to have to sit down and we're going to have to go through his stuff. So that I can actually access my stuff. That's how much stuff he got in the closet. So yeah, I bought three packs of these. The large ones. Um, I'm hoping that it will hold a lot of a lot of stuff. I, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and get some more of these. And I, I think I'm gonna have to go back and get some more of the. Um, these because I have a lot of blankets. I probably will get some of these to put some of my blankets into to make more space for those as well. Um, but yeah, I just gotta get, I, I'm trying to get my life together and I need them to work with me, my whole family. I need them to work with me because I can't do all this by myself. Like, come on, help me out. And last but not least, my daughter does have the flu and because the other medicine that I buy from them always works. I do have some medicine that she's taking, but it's not for um, the flu. It's just for regular cold or whatever. So, and her throat has been sore. So I am going to try these out. It says it is compared to the maximum strength Mucinex, Fast Max, Cold, Flu, and Sore Throat. So we'll see how these work for her. You get eight gel caps for a dollar. So that will that will conclude this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. 
and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell please follow me on all the social media outlets um i do have them listed in my description uh, and i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye